Hey folks, welcome to Consac. Just check this out what happened in Aurobindo Pharma. The implied volatility of Auro Pharma moved from 23.93 to 34 from 22nd to 26th of June. That was a 10 percentage up move in implied volatility of Auro Pharma, which is huge, correct? Now your question would be, how does this up move in implied volatility of Auro Pharma could have affected my option trading strategy? Just check this out. This is a long straddle. We have bought 670 call and 670 put. And the, the, this is the net straddle premium plotted on a chart. On 23rd of June at 9.34, the net premium was 16.45, which went up to 52.6. A huge up move in the net straddle premium. 200 percentage up move in the net straddle premium. Very lucrative, right? And this is why you should have volatility trading in your options trading portfolio. And the characteristics of implied volatility make it very easy for us to have volatility trading in our options trading portfolio. So let's quickly understand what are the characteristics of implied volatility. First thing is implied volatility and option premiums are positively correlated. That means if all the things in the market remain, if they remain constant, but if the IVs go up, the call option goes up and the put option goes up. If the IVs go down, the call option go down and put option also goes down. So it doesn't matter what happens in the market or what does not happen in the market. But if the IVs go up, the call option premiums go up, put option premiums go up. If the IVs go down, call option premium go down and put option premium go down. That is the first thing. Coming to the second thing, IVs are mean reverting in nature. What I mean by this is that IVs you will generally see moving something like this. Okay, if not exactly, but you will see more or less IVs behaving something like this. So let me just draw properly. Huh. This is how typically you will see IVs behaving. Now, you will never see the implied volatility chart, which is like this. Okay, now if, if I have this information, how can I go ahead and trade in market? It's simple. If IVs are at top, we can predict that implied volatility is at the top. How, how how would I come to know on this day that the implied volatility is at the top? Simple looking at the previous data. If implied volatility is at the bottom, how would I come to know on this day that the implied volatility is at the bottom? Simple looking at the previous data. Now, whenever implied volatility is at the top, it is very easy for me to predict that from here the implied volatility might go down. Whenever the implied volatility is at the bottom, it is very easy for me to predict that the implied volatility might go up. Now, because of which, whenever implied volatility goes down, I know one thing would happen is that the call premium would go down and at the same time, the put premium would also go down. Similarly, when the implied volatility is at the bottom and whenever it is going to spike up, that is my expectation, right? At that time, I know if the implied volatility spikes up, my call option premium would spike up and at the same time, my put option premium would also spike up. So whenever implied volatility makes a top, I will be more inclined towards short volatility trading strategies, something like short straddles, short strangles. Why? Because if I sell call and put option at this point, and let's say if the underlying remains uh, flat, there is no movement which happens in the underlying, then my call premium will cool down and put premium will cool down, right? Why? Because the implied volatility is going down. First thing. Second thing, if I have bought call and put option at this point, okay, when the IVs are at bottom, and if the IV spike up, it doesn't matter even if instrument remains flat, but I know the, I, the IV jump which is happening in the market, it will pump up my call premium and also my put premium. Okay? So it's very simple. Whenever the IVs are at the top, I will prefer short volatility uh, trading strategies, something like short straddles, short strangles, iron condors, uh, short iron butterflies. Whenever the IVs are at bottom, I will prefer long volatility opportunities, something like long straddles, long strangles, long calls, long puts. I will prefer buying options whenever the IVs are at the bottom. And whenever the IVs are at the top, I will prefer option selling strategies, more like straddles, strangles, iron condors. Now, I will keep volatility trading as a non-directional system. I will not include any direction over here. So whenever I am doing this, I don't have any forecast on the underlying, where the underlying will go or what will happen. I just know that the IVs are at the top. From here, the IVs might collapse. I just know that IVs are at the bottom. From here, the IVs might spike. Now, the problem is there are over 180 plus FNO stocks. We would never know that which stock 
implied volatility is at the top or at the bottom for me to go ahead and create a trade over there. So for this, we have a very simple analytic named as Vault Trader. You can access concept from link in the description box below or also from the iCard over here or else you can just log into web.concept.com. And once you are in the application, just use the search panel and search for Vault Trader and you will find the analytic. Now open it and it's simple now. It is giving us assistance for our trade ideas. It is helping us in identifying opportunities for long volatility and as well as short volatility. Simple, wherever there is long volatility, we are expecting that the volatility of that stock might go up because of which option premiums would go up. So over there, my strategy is simple. I will buy call and put option. Wherever I see a short volatility uh, opportunity getting generated, what would be my strategy over here? I will uh, straddle, short straddle, short strangles, iron condors, you know, short iron condor, short iron flies to basically mitigate the risk. So all these are open signals for us to go ahead and have a look on the historical signals. We can simply navigate to chart section over here. It will take us to a specific script and we can keep on switching scripts from here. Now it's simple. It's trying to show us what was the signal on what day signal gave an entry. When there was a signal, what was the implied volatility? Exit date when the signal uh, gave an exit. What was the implied volatility when the signal gave an exit and how much return in terms of implied volatility, the, the gains over here that you are seeing, these are not based on any strategy. These are based on how much implied volatility moved in the favor of the signal which was generated. So on this day, 22nd of June, there was a long volatility opportunity which was being created, right? What was the implied volatility? 23.93. On this day, there was an opportunity which was identified that the IV of Oropharma might go up. It went up, went up to how much? 34 percentage, right? What was the gain, uh, which the, uh, how much the gain this signal provided? It provided us around a 10 percentage return only based on implied volatility. So with simple, implied volatility and option premiums are positively correlated. So we need to predict where the implied volatility would move. And it is very easier to predict with the mean reverting characteristics that implied volatility has. So whenever implied volatility is at the top, that is where we will prefer option selling opportunities, short volatility opportunities. Whenever implied volatility is at the bottom, that is where we will identify that there is a long volatility opportunity which has been created. To keep it all simple, just open wall trader. You will directly get assistance for volatility trading ideas. So do unlock wall trader and get ready-made assistance for your volatility trading ideas.